Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the Smithy Golf channel. Hope you're well and lockdown isn't driving you too crazy. So, a lot of people asked me recently how I film my vlogs, what equipment I use, and how I put together my golf vlogs. Well, I'm going to show you just how it's done. So when lockdown has been lifted, I'm going to be getting back on the golf course and showing you a lot more vlogs, hopefully traveling around a little bit around the southwest of England and showing you a few more golf courses as well. So with that, I'm going to have to obviously get all my equipment together and get used to getting back on the golf course and filming. So as part of that, obviously, I have to do things like charge a lot of stuff up and kind of get everything ready for my day. So I'm going to talk you through exactly what equipment I put in the golf bag to help show you exactly what's going on in the golf course. So I thought I'd cap it off with what, exactly what I use to film with. So a lot of times people ask me what camera I'm using, is it a video camera, is it a handheld camera? It is in fact just an iPhone. So I use, I think I've still got the iPhone 7, so it's not even one of the later iPhones, but it still films up to 4K quality. Um, I actually only film in 1080p because I don't feel the need to actually put it out there in 4K yet anyway that obviously is going to be good for the future but it does the trick um the only few little drawbacks of using the phone are stuff like storage um any kind of notifications so always make sure i go into airplane mode when i'm filming things but more than anything it's yeah storage can be a little bit of a hinder um so obviously you need to be careful about how long the videos are making sure you're deleting old stuff you don't need off your phone uh, and the other thing is um about battery life as well. So the 7 iPhone um, doesn't really have the best battery life. When I'm filming vlogs, I have to bring an extend, uh, external hard drive out with me, sorry, an external battery out with me. And that helps me obviously get through a round from filming 18 holes. It can be quite tricky to get it filmed in one setting. So uh, yeah, definitely make sure you've got that extra battery in there as well. Now something that I come along something else that I come across as well obviously using a phone is how do you film it you know having a phone just propped up in your golf bag doesn't look the best so I invested a little while ago in a couple of things so the first one was a tripod of extendable legs so this sits up to be pretty high um, I can um, stick this behind me so I can be carrying my golf bag I can just plop this down on the floor behind me make sure that it's um, the right horizontal and um, yeah, just click it on record, talk away, and know that I'm I'm getting all the action. So I think I got this from Jessup's, I think it was. It was 50 pound, it reduced at the time, and um, I use it for work a little bit as well. It's a little bit bruised and battered, there's a few little chips out of it, but um, it's really good. It's got a locking system, um, it hasn't failed me yet, it's really easy, and it's really lightweight as well. So this has been probably one of the best invent little things I've bought, really, um, to help me out. And secondly, I won't be able to see it because you actually I'm using it right now, but it's a mini tripod as well. So again, I think it's by Manfrotto. Um, that just helps with uh, if I'm doing stuff like this, so where I don't need a big um, tripod at the moment. I'm sat at my kitchen table, so you see something small. And it is good just to be able to hold as well, so I can pick it up and just move it around if I just want to do stuff in and around the house. Um, for stuff out on the golf course, uh, I actually invested in something a little bit better. So one of the comments a lot of people were, were saying to me was that videos were looking a little bit shaky at times when I was trying to walk down the fairway and hold this obviously smaller tripod, um, it would move around a little bit and that wasn't looking the best. Um, obviously you can stabilize, but stabilizers sometimes look a bit weird. So um, rather than doing it post edit, I decided to buy this. So this is the DJI Osmo Mobile. So what happens is you put your phone in this little clamp here, and then as you're walking around, there's a motor inside it. This then stabilizes your image. So as you're walking along, I can be talking away, hey guys, Smithy here, and this will just stay, um, stay stabilized. I don't have to do anything with it. The great thing about this as well, it's got a few little um, controls on it so you can move it around up down left and right so if you're trying to pan to other people you're playing with it's really good button to press record so you don't have to worry about clicking on your phone which again can be quite fiddly um, and you can also do a zoom as well um, not that the iPhone comes with the best zoom but it is a cool feature and it does help out if you're just trying to zoom in a tiny little bit into a shot the other beauty of this as well is that 
On the back, it's got a USB port. So with that, you can put an iPhone charger. So I can actually charge the phone while it's recording. And the beauty of it, this is it does take a little while to charge up. I normally just leave it overnight, but it has enough charge in there to be able to charge my phone while still stabilizing as well. So that is probably the best thing I bought. I think it, I bought it online. I think it was off eBay. It was only about 60 or 70 pound. They retail it a lot more, I think like £150, maybe a little bit less now, but they are quite expensive. And as well, it's got a screw at the bottom, so you can put it into your tripod as well. So if I want to carry my smaller tripod, pop that on there, that will then just sit there and stabilise, and I can just pull out the legs when I want it to sit down, or I can walk along with it and vlog whenever I want to as well. So that is probably one of the coolest bits of kit that I've bought recently. Try not to spend too much on vlogging stuff, but absolutely, um, that's really helpful. The next thing is uh, something that I use, I actually use it for work quite a lot, so um, it's in my work bag, so sometimes I use it when I'm at home as well, and that is an LED light. So videos like this, for example, I'll show you my light. Is that there, very bright. If I was to not have a light on, that's what I'd look like at the moment, so I'd be very dark my face. So this, if I can get to stand in the position, just helps to brighten everything up a little bit and so you can see me, you can see what I'm talking about um, and it just helps it make a little bit more professional. Ideally at some point I'd like to get some bigger lights but I don't exactly have a studio here at home so um, unlike some of the other YouTubers this is at the moment just a bit of a hobby, it's not something that is going to be taking me on to at the moment bigger and better things so I'm not going to be putting too much of my own money into it. So next up, I thought I would talk to you through um, the editing sort of uh, sort of side of things. So once the video is all stored onto my phone, um, I've obviously used my stabiliser to help stabilise the image when I'm walking. I have a tripod if I want to take some shots from behind me when I'm teeing off, for example, and the light where obviously I'm doing stuff here at home and it just helps me look a little bit more professional. I don't have as much natural light. So that next thing pulls me onto when I'm editing my vlogs. So. I have two of these, one's my own and one's work. I'll tell you why I've been using both. So this is my work laptop, which is a MacBook Pro. Uh, I also have a MacBook Air, which is my own and I've had that for probably about five or six years now. So my MacBook Air is what I use to start editing vlogs on originally. And built into the MacBook Air is software called the iMovie software, which I'll pull up onto the screen now. Um, really good for getting started with vlogs. Um, it's really easy to use. It's completely free if you've got a, a Mac as well. So that really helps. It's not costing you anything. Um, and yeah, simple to use. You can pull in different bits of music. You can overlay an image. You can put a picture within another bit of video, which is really good when you're first getting started. And as I did when I first started making a few of my videos, um, you just need something quite basic. You don't need anything that's too kind of out there, wacky, and does all these great things. But since uh, working at the rugby club and having my new MacBook, my MacBook Pro, um, I also have now the use of software called uh, Premiere Pro. So that's part of the Adobe suite and it allows me to do so much more. So um, I'll be releasing a couple of videos over the next couple of weeks, which are me playing on the golf club 2019. So with that, it's going to be kind of gameplay of an Xbox um, golf game, but with a screen of me at the same time. Now that's something that I haven't managed to ever do with iMovie before, is have a video, playing within a video, and having outlays, um, borders, all these kind of really cool things I've never been able to do before. It's taken quite a bit of time, quite a lot of tutorials on YouTube um, and practice, but yeah, I put that video together. Um, one comes up this Friday, the following one next Friday. So yeah, you'll see them on the channel. Um, go and watch them when they come up. Let me know what you think of them. They're really different, but obviously with lockdown at the moment, we can't go onto the golf course. So there's not gonna be a chance to be able to go out and play. However, that software has really helped me. Um, again, it's taken time to learn. It's not simple. And I probably haven't even scratched the surface of what you can do on it, but from a kind of sound and um, lighting point of view, post edit, being able to put slight filters on videos and transitions, it makes the videos look a little bit better. They probably still need a lot of work going on them, but they look a lot better than they did. If you scroll back to my first videos a couple of years ago, 
compared to what I've had. Now, hopefully, you'd agree is a lot better. And as part of that as well, something else that I've done is worked with um, a, a local designer to me. So a guy called Robert Boyd, who's um, a friend of, he's a brother of an old friend of mine. Um, he does design work for a, little, a lot of different sports companies, um, a lot of logos, a lot of badges and animations. So he created my new logo, my Smithy Golfs with the S and the G um, logo in the green. And also at the start, you'll notice my kind of intro slide for whatever it is, six, seven seconds. He created that for me as well, as well as my thumbnail borders as well that I use in my, now on my gaming um, videos and on my thumbnails as well. So again, having someone like him help me out, he, he didn't charge me for it, he'd done it just for his portfolio. Um, things like that really help to make things look a little bit more professional and as time goes on hopefully I'll be able to do more stuff that makes the, the channel and the videos look even better and better. And that goes on to the final part, so when I've edited, I've shot the video, um, I've edited the video and it's all ready to go, the last thing is obviously uploading it onto YouTube, so as part of that I also have to create and put together a thumbnail. For that, there's a few different things I've used. So in the past, I've used things like Canva, which is completely free to use and create different graphics of that. Um, but a lot of the time I just use Keynote, which is Apple's version of PowerPoint. You can easily drag in um, all of your different files. So you can have a picture, you can put words over the top. If you want a border like I've been using recently, you can put that in there as well. And it's just a really quick and easy way to make your videos stand out on YouTube. Um, just look a little bit more professional and you can have a little bit of fun with it as well It means you're not just taking a screenshot from the video itself You can obviously edit and make it look a lot better and a lot more appetizing to people that might be watching a video So that's it really that's me wrapped up. That's what I use um, That's what I use at the moment for a startup vlog um, and pretty reasonably new to YouTube I've only made about a hundred videos. That's what I use at the moment as time's gone on, I've spent a little bit of money here and there, 50, 60 pounds here and there to, to try and make things a little bit better. But certainly I'm not spending a lot of money and I don't think you really do. And that's my kind of overall tip is just get going. Everyone's got a, a mobile phone, if it's an iPhone, a Samsung, whatever it is you use, it's got a camera, it's gonna be HD ready and you just can just get on with it. You just gotta make sure that you've got some kind of editing software. And if it isn't the best stuff that you can use just use what you can whatever's free um, and make videos have fun with it like I do I don't expect to ever be the biggest vlogger in the world um, I just want to have a bit of fun with it and it helps me work on my editing skills and a little bit of production skills in the meantime so a bit of a different video for you guys hope you've enjoyed it like I said before I've got a couple of videos coming up next Friday and so this Friday and the next Friday up as well uh, which are going to be gameplay videos from the golf club 2019 if you can don't forget hit that subscribe button down below it really helps me making better quality content and hopefully get my videos seen by more people and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed what you saw here thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys very very soon